Hello, and welcome to another couple with Casey. <laughs> and today, I just want to draw. So that's what we're going to do. So I knew that I wanted to draw, but I didn't know what I wanted to draw. So as most of my videos go, started off with some sketching. I just kind of did whatever came to my mind first to loosen up my hand a little bit. I had recently watched um, Drawing with Waffles um, video when I recorded this, um, the one that she uploaded on Wednesday and she did like this cute guy character with super like Leonardo DiCaprio 90s haircut and so I sort of was inspired by that and drew a very bad Leonardo DiCaprio haircut guy in um, the first little bit and then realized that I was doing that I was kind of on autopilot so I looked back and I was like why did I draw that? I, I never draw guys and this is just terrible. So I just sort of left him where he was, good old Leo, and then tried to think of something I wanted to draw and a lot of the time I like using myself as reference and drawing myself and I struggle with this a lot because I think that your art should be what you want your art to be and you should draw what you want to draw. And a lot of the time I enjoy drawing myself because I know myself, I know what I look like, I know I'm not going to get upset at me for drawing me badly. <laughs> and um, I just enjoy drawing myself in different sort of outfits and different poses and a lot of the time I do vent art where I'm trying to get out emotions that I'm struggling with in my head and so I try and draw them out to help me process them and I used to do this a lot more um, I draw myself a lot less now because one time about oh goodness it was well actually now that I think of it, it's a long time like nearly 10 years ago oh my gosh I'm getting old um I had a guy who I liked at the time tell me that I draw myself too much and he thinks I should draw other things and I don't know if it was because I had a crush on him or I just took what he said way too personally, um, took it to heart way too much than I, way more than I should have. Um, and I sort of stopped, stopped, <laughs> stopped drawing myself as often as I used to, which in the grand scheme of things isn't a big deal, but a lot of the time I struggle for topics to draw and start to draw myself and then get annoyed at myself because I'm like, oh, I'm just drawing me again and no one's going to want to see that. And that's not the point of my art. My art isn't something that I'm drawing for other people to see. It's something that I'm drawing for me because I enjoy drawing. And I just, I, I don't like that I had the experience of drawing myself almost ruined, I should say. Um, for me because of this one person's sort of offhanded comment they made nearly 10 years ago <laughs> and I'm, so I'm struggling through that and I'm trying to break that um, mindset of being disappointed in myself for drawing myself because you know I don't enjoy looking at myself in the mirror I don't really like looking at myself in photographs but I do like looking at drawings of myself whether I draw them or I commission others to draw them or my friends draw them, I, I enjoy art and I feel like I shouldn't be disappointed in myself for expressing myself that way. But it's just, it's something that I struggle with. 
So, having completely stopped talking about the entire image, that's how we got to me drawing myself here. Um, I did a very bad three-quarter portrait style <laughs> drawing of myself there on the left underneath good old Leo. And I thought, actually, yes, I do want to draw me. So I did a little thumbnail of a, like trying to think of ideas. And the first one I did, actually, I really liked. So I just didn't bother doing any more and went straight into it. So I drew up a sketch and then went into color with my Copics. And I don't know if I've said this enough times in my videos, but I love how Copics work on this paper. It's so much fun to blend them. This is the Ohuhu marker sketchbook in square um, because I like working in square. Drawing with waffles has made me enjoy working in square and now I can't buy art books that aren't square because I'm like, no, this isn't correct. I should be in square. Um, so thanks, Rin. Um, you probably don't know me nor watch my videos, but Maybe the word will get back to you one day. <laughs> you have spoilt A5 books for me. I can only draw in square now. Anyway, um, it's not a big deal. I like drawing in square. I like this sketchbook. I like that it has a lot of pages, so I'm going to be working in it for a long time. Um, I am actually nearly halfway through it, and that's exciting for me. I'm trying to decide if I want to do a halfway through my sketchbook sketchbook tour or if I want to wait until I finish the whole thing and do a full sketchbook sketchbook tour. The only thing is this sketchbook in particular has a lot of pages and I draw front and back of my sketchbook pages. So if I was to wait until I finish the whole book to do the sketchbook tour, the sketchbook tour is going to be like a 40 odd minute long video. So you know, you guys could probably give me your advice on what you think. Um, do you think I should do a I'm halfway through my sketchbook sketchbook tour or should I wait till the end and just do the longer video? Um, let me know in the comments below because that is something that I would really be interested in knowing. What you would prefer. Do you prefer the longer videos or the shorter videos? I kind of flip and flop between doing longer and shorter mainly just because of the footage I have. Sometimes it ends up being a longer video and I just ramble for 30 minutes. Sometimes it takes me a lot less to do the artwork than I had planned for the video. So I end up with like a 10 to 15 minute long video that I ramble in for 10 to 15 minutes. Um, I don't know what you prefer. The views tend to be about the same either way. So, you know, if you prefer the longer ones, let me know. If you prefer the shorter ones, let me know. I'm probably not going to change what I do. You're going to end up with a little bit of one and a little bit of the other every now and then. Just because I don't actually time myself when I do artwork. I just draw. This one is a longer one because I did a full detailed piece. Though I um, didn't do as much sketching at the start so it's not as long as it could be. Um, yeah. I sort of rambled there. I lost my train of thought. <laughs> This particular part of the picture, you can't tell in the recording now that I'm looking back at it. The colour is actually looks spot on for what I wanted it to be in the recording, but in person it was a lot redder than I wanted it. I needed it to be more brown toned. So and I didn't have the right colour and then I went into my handy dandy second stash of Copic markers that my fiance gifted me for Valentine's Day. He basically gave me all of his Copics which is why I have two swatch sheets because I swatched out all the ones he gave me and I've put a little mark on the ones I've got duplicates of. This one I don't have a duplicate of and it's the colour exactly what I wanted for the dress in this picture. Um, I have recently bought myself a ton of dresses and have started wearing this t-shirt underneath strap spaghetti strap dress thing um, I don't know, I really like the style, so I've started wearing it, and the fact that it's coming into spring here in Australia is also really handy, because it means I can wear a dress and not get cold, though I don't really get cold as much as other people, because I'm used to England, but, um, 
When it's cold, I like to get snuggly and wear trackies and wrap myself up in soft blankets because that's why I like the cold, because I can snuggle myself up in warm, soft blankets. <laughs> um, I'm not really a fond lover of the heat, so the fact that I'm actually enjoying the look of dresses this year is probably going to be really nice for me because I don't normally like myself in dresses but I'm enjoying this style so maybe I just needed to wear a t-shirt underneath my dresses all along. And this is the main part of why I wanted to draw myself for this video. I got dreadlock extensions put in so if you don't know um, you can get dreadlock extensions they are double-ended ones, so they are braided into my hair. So I have a friend, Janice, who is awesome, and she does actual dreadlocks. And I borrowed her handy-dandy dreadlocking skills um, to put these into my hair. So she did all this fancy um, separating of my hair to put these in so they look sort of natural. I don't know how um, real dreadlocks would look. They're braided in in all in a pattern that is sort of yeah. I, I don't know. I don't. I'm not really a hair person. Um, she separated my hair into like triangles, in lots of little triangles, and braided these things in. <laughs> and I'm loving them. They're looking great. Um, but I wanted to draw myself with my new dreadlock, dreadlocks in, so that's what this entire illustration was inspired by drawing these dreadlock extensions, which I look at it back now, there's not really a whole lot of dreadlocks in this illustration, but I got carried away with the dress and the pose and stuff. Um, but looking back at it now, it does look really stiff. Um, I think my thumbnail was a lot looser and then when I drew it bigger it became a lot more stiff and a lot less dynamic. Um, the face looks very um, forced almost like you know how when someone takes a photo and you can tell their smile in that photo is not a genuine smile and it just is just a put on fake smile. That's what the face in this picture looks like to me. It looks completely false. <laughs> um, but that's just something for me to work on in the future. Um, I was not paying attention to the face as much as I was with the other elements of this drawing and it shows. But that's my fault. I should have paid more attention to it. Um, yeah, there's not a whole lot else to say about this piece. I attempted a background, which we will get to soon. I'm actually lining this with my sepia coloured Copic multi-liner um, because I didn't want to do black. I thought that might be a bit too harsh and I actually remembered that I can do coloured line art with this piece. Um, I didn't want to use my colorase pencil like I have been for a lot of my other works lately to line and do extra detailing with because I've been doing that a lot and I thought I should probably not lose my knack for actually using multi-liners. I should maybe get back into doing proper line art. So I um, did that with this piece with this sepia tone um, multi-liner. But I don't know, I'm not a huge fan of it. I think it would look better if I had done it with pencil. <laughs> I'm just really liking that look right now. I'm finding multi-liners way too crisp and it just makes it look false to me and I don't know. I still like the piece. I enjoy the dreadlocks and the dress and my attempt at some form of background, which I believe I'm about to start on. I don't actually remember. Oh, there we go. So from watching Drawing with Waffles, as I'm mentioning her a lot in this video, by the way, watching her recent video, she did a full illustration drawing where she did this guy sitting on like a planter box with flowers and stuff in the background. And I was like, I want to do some plant-like background, forgetting that I am terrible at drawing plants and backgrounds. So, you know, it looks pretty 
forced and not that great. But I'm proud of myself for attempting it anyway because I would normally just, you know, draw me in there, do maybe a circle of colour behind it and be like, call it a day. That's my background. Done. But I attempted to draw a tree and I am proud of myself for that. It turned out pretty badly, but I did a tree. I attempted some sort of foliage action. I did some shading. I tried to texturize the bark. I don't think I did too bad. Um, it's not as good as it could be, but that just shows that I need more practice in drawing trees. Um, I know it's one of my weaknesses. I find backgrounds and elements like this to be really difficult to make look good, and I don't know why. Obviously, you know, I need to practice to make it better, but I also find that knowing what I'm doing wrong helps me to fix it to do better and I don't know what it is that I'm doing wrong. I've practiced, I've looked at real trees and I'm like I am drawing it like that. Why doesn't it look like a tree? Why does it look like a runny blob of brown liquid going up my drawing? But you know, we'll get there. One day I might figure out what I'm doing wrong. If you guys know what I'm doing wrong, feel free to tell me. I might learn from this. Who knows? Next time I draw a tree, it might actually look like a tree. I find the leaves do help, but still not the best tree. I've seen better trees in my day. I haven't drawn better trees in my day, but I've seen better trees in my day. Um, yeah. So I just did a bunch of green splodgies. I tried to do a few different shades of green to just give it a bit of texture a little bit more dynamic and interesting instead of just a big squiggly green mess. It turned out looking like just a big squiggly green mess, but I attempted to make it look interesting. Um, and yeah, I think that's part of what's wrong with this piece. It's all very, I don't know, very samey in values. Like, I feel if I made this picture black and white, um, it would all look sort of just one shade because it, the, well, the values are very similar. Um, I need to work on that, apparently. But also, this outfit is pretty much exactly to what I was wearing. At the, well, not at the time. You can see I'm wearing my dressing gown at the time. But it's, it's pretty much the outfit that I bought. Um, the colours are like that. That's pretty much spot on. So maybe I need to dress with more values. Who knows? Perhaps it would have looked better if I'd done black line art after all. Um, I don't know. But that, that's uh, things for another day. That's my picture. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. Feel free to comment. Let me know what you like and what you don't like. Follow me on Instagram, Facebook, and I've got Patreon open, so it would be great to have some supporters, but don't feel pressured. I don't know what that was. But again, thanks for watching. I will see you next week, and have a good one. Do -do 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 -do. It's the end of the video. Do 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 do, got no more voiceover. The video is over, we're just watching the last little bit of the drawing. Da 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 da, and I've run out of things to say, so now I am singing at you. Now I am singing at you. And we're gonna finish a drawing soon, and then we're gonna sign the drawing, and we're gonna put it up close to the camera so you can see it up close and then I'm gonna insert a close-up picture so you can see the picture with all its glory yeah see you next week <laughs>